Hey guys, Humicorn here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to family share on Steam and everything about family sharing on Steam. Now, a lot of people are talking about family sharing games on Steam in 2021, gotcha. and Steam family sharing isn't that much complicated, isn't really complicated at all. So I'm going to be going through different things, how to actually do it, things you can't do, and then some other risks that you have to bear in mind when doing this. But yeah, if you're liking these Steam videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more I do. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video so first of all how do you family share first of all you give whoever you want to family share with your account details so they can log on to your account but then they have to give you yours so then you can get their games and then they get your games as well and that's basically how you do it now i'll put up a whole thing as well on screen where it's just all about it how many you can have it you can have up to 10 people which is pretty good i mean not many people have 10 people in the house so obviously do this with friends and obviously you don't have to be on each of us accounts for this to work you can go on whatever account and it'll still show up their games now i'm going to be going through some of the things you can't do and some of the things that people mess up and mistake with family sharing and that is with the whole family share settings you can't actually play with each other on the games that you're sharing because once you're playing a game that they haven't got once they try and load it up it'll actually either kick you off or just won't let them on it's really weird so you can't actually play together on these games when family sharing they can only play it when you're not now, I don't know why they would do this. I mean, you know, Xbox, PS4, all of them like, have their own settings and lets you play together on different games and all that. I don't know why they wouldn't just do that, but you know, it's really weird. I mean, it messes up a lot of things. It ruins a lot of stuff that could be done, a lot of potential for that, but I mean, it is what it is. So some of the risks, I mean, this is really common sense, but don't family share with someone you don't know. But if you want to anyway, there's this setting in Steam, I'll throw it up on screen as well, where you can change all like the options. So when you're on your account or when they're on your account they can't actually do anything to do with payments they can't get your bank card and they can't delete games whatever they, they can only play them and i think you can actually change what you actually give them all together as well which is pretty cool but yeah the whole family share situation on steam right now is pretty dead because of that thing where you can't play together i mean not many people do it but i still do it with a couple of my mates so they can play some offline games or whatever so it's still worth doing definitely but it's just a shame of whole, all that multiplayer stuff that can't be done yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know if i missed anything out on family sharing but yeah i think we're getting back into rhythm a little bit every time i say that i just like miss a month of uploads but i'm trying to get back into rhythm as best as i can i don't know what games to do like i'm a bit stuck on that but yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did like share subscribe see you in the next one and peace